Okay, so today I'm taking a look at the Transformers Reveal the Shield Preceptor. And first of all, I'm going to say right now, I know he's supposed to be a microscope, but he's not. And honestly, I prefer the fact that he's not a microscope because, I don't know, much, uh, I, I understand it that it would have been a nice homage to the G1 figure, but who wants to buy a microscope? I mean, I, I do prefer cars or trucks or whatnot. So that out of the way... Uh, I will say, though, I don't like this car. <laughs> I understand he's some, some, some sort of scientific or geological truck, so I guess that means he goes out into the field and, you know, picks up samples from certain terrain or whatnot, but it's an ugly-looking truck, to be honest. Uh, and it's a shame, really, because of all the Reveal the Shield figures, I think this one has the best detailing and, and paint apps on it, to tell you the truth. Uh, for one thing, he's got these nice... They, well, maybe not nice, but there's supposed to be spotlights up here, and they look pretty cool. Uh, his headlights even are, are that sort of like a clear yellow plastic, and then he's got paint apps just where you need them. I mean, he has, you know, the, the filled-in windows, the nice taillights. He even has a nice license plate. But by far the best paint on this is his wheels, or are his wheels, sorry. They're this really beautiful metallic uh, dark gray there with a lot of intricate detailing in the tracks and even the front wheel looks pretty good. Not Granted, not as much detail, but it looks really good. And then you can even tell there's some chrome bits coming out here. His Up here he's got a chrome piece. I mean, you know, it's strange. He's got all these nice, you know, details, but overall the figure is rather dull. Uh, mostly in part due to the color of it. It's red but it also comes off as a sort of maroonish red and you know that color plus the design of the vehicle is really not for me the other thing i want to say that's kind of a poor choice in design decision is for a reveal the shield figure to not have his actual shield accessible in this mode is a huge flaw in my opinion uh you know whether or not it's visible is is not really a main like i could care less if the, the shield was anywhere that was, you know, not clearly visible, but the fact that it's not even accessible is, it's a big draw for me. Anyways, with that, having it uh, in mind, I'm going to go and transform him and let's see his robot mode. So the first thing you want to do is just move that up to the top and then you can separate this bottom piece here, just like that. And then from here, we'll start with his legs. You can just pull them out and up. I'll do one leg at a time. So what you want to do here is move this up, and this hole here will peg into there. And uh, when I first got the figure, mine didn't actually fit in correctly, so I had to shave them down. So just be aware of that. Uh, next thing you want to do is flip around his heel. And then here you could just move this, uh, push it down and in. And then the top door actually s slides down and then pegs in right there. And then you got one leg. So again, same uh, thing with the other leg. I'll just go quickly through it. Uh-oh. I seem to be having a lot of trouble today. Don't ask me why. I, I just am. Okay, and those are his legs done. Uh, the top half, all you gotta do is unpeg the arms, turn them around, and make sure the wheels are on the inside of the figure. Actually, and make sure these are facing upwards, like that. There we go. And then here, you just want to move that down. And this part's a bit trickier. You want to make sure that There's a black, uh, this black piece right here, there's a tab on the other side, and there's a hole here, so you want to move this up until the tab can be, ex can access it. Uh, there we go. And then when you lock it in, it'll keep this head in place so that it won't go down. And then you just move this up and turn around his arms so that these silver bits are on the outside. And there you have Perceptor, for the most part. Almost done. Uh, this cannon piece, you just want to fold this down. 
and the two remaining pieces you can just fold them back and then oops you gotta make sure they clip together there we go and then take this part and move it out and then you can flip up his scope okay so there we go Perceptor in his full-on robot mode in my opinion, I think he looks like a good-looking figure. He's very... I, I like that he's very squared off everywhere. His arms are very square, legs very square. He looks, for the most part, the most G1 by design figure I've seen in a while. Um, I do love uh, some things about him, like his legs. I like how they were just, you know... Uh, ba basically a broken down side panel of the of the vehicle to make his legs. I love it when Transformers do that. Uh, for example, I hated how the Reveal the Shield Bumblebee, uh, his foot was basically one giant piece. It's really disappointing and I feel lazy and not really very Transformers-ish. Uh, let's see. When it comes to his face, he looks like a very serious yet boring scientist. So I guess that's a good call on him. You'll notice mine has a quality control issue. He's got silver painted on his forehead. There's nothing really I could do about it, but I guess it's hard to give some sort of character battle-hardened look. It's okay. Not too bad. Oh, I forgot to clip in his waist. There we go. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is he's got this really nice chromed sort of chest plate that opens up to reveal his shield. And again, he is an Autobot, so that's that. His sort of shoulder cannon is, is quite nice looking as well. Unfortunately, I don't know why that scope thing is there, because it's not like you actually can use it in any sort of way. I mean, you can't rotate it or move it forward, so it kind of doesn't really serve a purpose. Uh, in terms of articulation, uh, let's see now. He's got everything that you would expect, uh, except for one thing is that his head is on, not on a ball joint, it's on a swivel. So he can only go left and right, and then he does not have a waist. But everything else that you would expect is there. I mean, he does have all his limbs connected by a ball joint, so all the legs, and each one of them has a swivel in the bicep or the thigh, and they each have, you know, a joint in the elbows and knees, and then opposable wrists, opposable feet, or ankle, whatever you want to go with. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, one flaw I will have to note is that his backpack, or basically his back area that connects his arms, it does not lock. So every time you play with an arm, it'll unhinge. Uh, to sort of remedy this, I've tried to just force this up so that that uh, silver peg there kind of comes up and sticks. Just like that. And just due to friction, it'll sort of lock in place. It's not the perfect fix, but it works for me, and that's how I'll keep it. I don't know if it damages the figure over time, whatever. Um, but yeah, overall, he's an interesting looking guy. Uh, one of the flaws that he does not come with a weapon. I mean, if you don't count his shoulder cannon, he doesn't come with a weapon. That's kind of... It's kind of disheartening. I mean, you always expect that these robots have a weapon, and when, he, when they don't, you're always stunned. Um... I guess that's sort of why he was able to get chrome on him, because one, I mean, he was dull to look, to begin with. He's still dull in this robot mode. He doesn't come with a weapon, so I guess Hasbro figured we have to throw in something to make him appealing to, um, to prospective buyers, and that's why they added the chrome, and really, he doesn't need the chrome. It's nice, but it doesn't need it. Uh, I would have preferred a gun, to tell you the truth, but that's just me. Um, overall, would I recommend him or buy him? If you're looking for, you know, to just complete your classics collection, then yeah, by default, you kind of have to get them. But if you just want variety in your collection and you're looking for something else, you could, you could skip Perceptor. I mean, he's not that cool a figure. You'll probably pick him up, but, you know, t uh, you know, tinker around with him for maybe a day, and then you're going to put him on your shelf, and then you're never going to ever go back to him because he's he's too dull, he's too boring, he's too... Uh, he, he, there's just nothing special about him. Uh, but yeah, that's how I kind of feel about it. Uh, best bet, wait till he's on clearance, and then you can pick him up. But anyways, yeah, this has been the Transformers Reveal of Shield Perceptor, and thanks for watching.